Hi there, my name is Evelyn Weiss. I have thousands of coaches, course creators, school and membership owners in my paid online communities. And one of the things that I help them with is ads. And this week we have seen a significant change being rolled out in some of my members' accounts that we need to talk about kind of urgently. Okay, so first I wanna show you what is happening. So typically when we click on creating a new campaign, create, right? And let's say we wanna optimize for sales, optimize for purchases, we will say sales. Then we can continue and we can select if we want to do a manual campaign setup or if we want to go with Facebook's AI campaign setup, which is Advantage Plus Shopping. The same is true for a leads generation campaign, right? So we were able to go with the tailored campaign where we give Facebook more control or the manual campaign where we have more control. Another change that we've been seeing rolled out here in this account, it's already happening. You click on sales and then you see this message here. You no longer need <laughs> to choose a campaign setup for called Advantage Plus sales campaigns, formerly called Advantage Plus shopping campaign. This setup is by default maximizing performance with AI. Manual options are still available. You can still find all the options previously available in manual sales campaigns, right? So this is the default message that we see. Now, when I click on this account where the changes have been rolled out on leads, you can see that I directly got into the leads setup and here you can say campaign up, uh, opportunities. So here it has been applied as well. So it took me a little while to find out where we can still make our manual settings because for example, this account is an account that works with females only, right? So we need to be able to make the differentiation. Okay, so when you come to your campaign now on the ad set level, so first things first, not catalog sales, we're optimizing for purchase here. Now here, you see that Advantage Plus audience is on and everything else seems to be restricted. Here, when I clicked on more controls, I saw the age or custom exclusions, right? So I could exclude, um, you know, certain custom audiences of mine, but I didn't see anything around the gender. So I poked around a little bit more and I found further limit the reach of your ads. So when I click on further limit the reach of your ads, again, the blue button is the one that you intuitively would click on, but we need to say switch campaign, right? And now in here, we do have the age and gender settings that we need. So let's say you work with women in premenopause. Well, now, you know, you're able to set those things again. And another kind of little pitfall, you need to uncheck use as suggestion. Otherwise, again, your setting has really very little impact on where your campaign is shown. Now the same goes for gender. Now you can select women. Again, you need to remove the suggestion. Otherwise, it will just target whoever you want. Now custom audiences here, we can still add our lookalike audiences. But look at what's happening here. When I just have to look like audience and I move on. It says your suggestion. So it is not that I can select uh, my lookalike audience as a hard boundary. I was really concerned about this because I was like, oh my goodness, then that also means our retargeting is affected. But when I go on a custom audience, right? For example, the website visitors of the last 180 days, I again get this option to not use it as a suggestion. And if you want to set up a retargeting campaign now, this is the method that you'll have to use to make it an actual retargeting campaign. Otherwise you might send a retargeting message like, hey, you know, come back to our website to finish your purchase, right? Or come back to the school community. You were so close, join us now. Otherwise you're just spraying that to everyone basically. So very important for retargeting. Now the detailed targeting options, unfortunately very similar, like the lookalike audiences. Coaching education must also match self-employment. This is an audience that I like to use. In general, if you're a coach, I always like to layer coaching and must also match self-help or self-help here under psychology and self-help um, publications. If you're selling any type of online education, I love to kind of use this as a base layer. And I personally, because I go after business owners, always added uh, self-employment. And I mean, this audience has been my number one go-to on my journey to 7 million in sales. A lot came from ads. I spent over 1.5 million euros on ads. So I've been using this audience all day long, but what I can see now is it's a mere suggestion, right? So this kind of direct option of, of working with that audience is gone. And it was the solution, uh, the, the illusion of, you know, being in control anyways. But in general, I think this is just 
showing us where the trend is really going with Facebook ads, which is that they taking more and more options away from you as an advertiser to manage your campaigns. Now, if you're an inexperienced advertiser, this can actually work in your favor if you know what you're working with, right? So I see, unfortunately, quite a few of uh, the people who are joining my membership not being aware of things like that. And they think, you know, for example, they're only targeting females in a certain age when they really don't, right? And so I just wanted you to know and be in a picture about that. Now, what is my kind of personal take on this? I will just further double down on my strategy, which I've been using. I've been using um, Advantage Plus, so cut tailored lead gen campaigns like all year long. This is the number one funnel in which I am growing my Grow with Evelyn membership and my Scale with Evelyn Mastermind. And I basically just use one type of campaign, which is the leads campaign. So in my account, I can still make it tailored. If in your account you select it, you very likely will already arrive at this option, right? And if you're only working with females, you can go in and you know adapt the campaign like I showed you. I let the heavy lifting of my ads happening through the actual ads, right? So the actual visual and copies. So I, I will do a lot of messaging tests where I have a simple canvas where I test just different messages against each other. So here, for example, this was a test. And when you see the ads, you'll see that it's always kind of the same visual canvas, but I'm just testing my main ad angle in here. And then eventually once I find a winning angle, I schedule the winners into a winning campaign, but I create more variation of that winning angle, different visual formats with copy tailored to that angle. And so I really focus on making the visual of my ad and the copy of my ad, the filter for the type of people that I want to have. And then I work um, with the lead generation campaign. It has an instant form. It directly integrates with my MailerLite account. So people get on my email list, right? What's the best email to send you the workshop details? I redirect them to my YouTube channel because this is where my nurturing is happening. And then I have a monthly live event where people are invited to join my otherwise uh, closed communities. And in the meantime, I work with the replay and the waiting list. And the reason why I've chosen the setup is because I can control where it matters, which is the creating a filter through my ads, getting the right people off the platform into my own owned media, which is my email list, right? Where I can re-reach in whichever way I want and without the additional cost of running the ads again. And then I use a simple conversion event that I can optimize on a monthly basis, right? So I get a lot of data. I used to do launches around four-ish times a year. Now I have three times as many opportunities to improve what I'm doing. And this is working really, really well for me. So because Facebook is going in this direction, I'm just building systems where I know that I can kind of de-risk myself and build a little circle of control around that. So that's my personal take on it. I hope you found this helpful if the setting has been popping up on your account. If it hasn't yet, it's just something to know and be prepared for. All right, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in another video.